Alright, what's going on guys? Trev back again. Here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing another throwback video review for another one of my favorite animated series of all time. This one is going to be for Justice League. Alright, so it doesn't get much better than this. Let's do a review for Justice League. We got four seasons of what I consider to be an absolutely amazing cartoon series. A treat to see. Uh, I've recently done reviews for Batman the Animated Series, Batman Beyond, X-Men the Animated Series, so following that I felt like the next one I should do should definitely be Justice League. Now, I think a lot of us were upset that Batman the Animated Series and Superman the Animated Series came to an end, but then we got Batman Beyond, so that eased the pain a little bit, and then we got Justice League on Cartoon Network. Now this one here for me, if you want to consider it two shows, is in Justice League and Justice League Unlimited for four seasons, I pers or two seasons each, I personally view it as like one complete show. Um, you know, kind of similar to Batman and, you know, the animated series and Batman New Adventures, uh, you know, that kind of that kind of thing. It's all really the same, but every couple years they want to revamp it so that they can keep people's interest and they can, you know, make it seem like it's, it's a new thing, give it a new angle so it doesn't feel stale, which they did do with Unlimited where they added on a lot more of the characters from the DCU, really gave them a chance to shine and, uh, you know, made the show even probably even more interesting and even better than it was originally before in the previous seasons by giving us all of these additional characters. I think that this series right here, for anyone who's like a Marvel fan, uh, and in terms of DC, they like Batman, they, you know, they, they think Superman's okay or they like Superman, um, but they don't know a lot of the other characters in the DC universe. One of the best ways to learn about all the different characters in the DC universe is to watch Justice League. You get to see characters from all over the DCU in this animated series, especially in Unlimited, where you have you know so many other characters that get a chance to shine in an animated series that never have before. Uh, good examples of that would be The Question. Uh, you have Shazam. You have you know um, Captain Adam. You have I mean there's there are Doctor Fate. There are so many cool characters that have never really been in an animated series before and really deserve because they've been around in comics for so long to get a chance to appear in a show and in Justice League Unlimited they were given that opportunity. Uh, even to the point where you got like Bawana Beast and you know, all kinds of these different characters that are pretty obscure and just really fun to see in a show. So, four seasons, let's go over some of what we had in, uh, in what I consider to be one of the best uh, animated series of all time, uh, just right along with Batman the Animated Series, X-Men the Animated Series, and uh, the others. So, the very first episode of the series aired in November 2001. We're looking at Secret Origins, and we have, uh, that was a three-part uh, story arc, and, and, and you'll see two from this show. A lot of the episodes are in arcs, which I really like a lot. So you have like like one story that'll take up like three episodes, and uh, that really makes for some very epic, uh, you know, battles and just you know different stuff. This one, okay, so Secret Origins, um, you get alien invaders. All right, black in Blackest Night, you have um, you know Green Lantern story with um, uh, John John Stewart. Green Lantern, yeah, he was chosen for this this show, which was, you know, it, it was cool to see a different uh, Green Lantern. You wouldn't think of him as the one to be chosen. You would think Hal Jordan probably, but he was cool to have in in the series. Um, the Enemy Below was after that. Injustice for All, oh man, that one was stellar. That one is like that one's like an animated movie type quality. Uh, I love Injustice for All. You got the Ultra Humanite, Lex Luthor, Supervillain Team Cheetah, The Shade, Grundy, Star Sapphire, Copperhead, and then the Joker shows up. Uh, oh, Lexi, I'm hurt. <laughs> and you have, of course, Mark Hamill playing uh, Joker. 
doesn't get any better than this. It does not. Um, then we have Paradise Lost. We have War World, which was fun too. The Brave and the Bold. We have Fury, Legends, A Knight of Shadows, Metamorphosis. Uh, no, Metamor yeah, Metamorphosis and the Savage Time. And that was the end of the first um, season of Justice League. Awesome season. Okay, let's get into season two. Twilight of the Gods, uh, Tabula Rasa, Only a Dream, Maid of Honor, uh, Hearts and Minds, A Better World, Eclipsed, uh, The Terror Beyond, Secret Society, Hereafter, Wild Cards, um, that's another one with uh, with the Joker. <laughs> I love that one too. Uh, I mean, I love them all. Uh, Comfort and Joy, Starcrossed was great. I remember Starcrossed in particular because then in that one you have the uh, the Than uh, uh, Thanagarians or, or or you know your Hawk Girl, Hawk Hawk Man um, sort of three part story arc of, of being double crossed by them. Good. St I really like that a lot. Uh, that was a great story arc. And then we started with Justice League Unlimited. And I think here, having those additional characters in, in JLU actually improved the show even more. It made it even more fun because you had, you know, we all know who Batman is. We all know who Superman is. He's awesome to see in what he, or they're both awesome to see in how they interact with other characters. Batman's always fun to see him kick ass or interrogate people. You know, these different types of things that he does. But, you know, at the same time, too, it's really cool to get to see some of these new characters shine that we haven't seen in an animated series before. So, uh, in JLU uh, Episode 1, we have Initiation, For the Man Who Has Everything, Kids Stuff, Hawk and Dove, The Little Piggy, Fearful Symmetry, The Greatest Story Never Told, The Return, Ultimatum, Dark Heart, Wake the Dead, the Once and Future Thing, Part 1, uh, Weird Western Tales. The Once and Future Thing, Part 2, Time Warped. Uh, and then we got into Season 2. We had The Cat and the Canary, The Ties That Bind, The Doomsday Sanction. Um, Doomsday is obviously in that one. <laughs> Task Force X, The Balance, Double Date, Clash, Hunter's Moon, Question Authority. Love the question. Awesome character. Flashpoint. Panic in the Sky, Divided We Fall, and Epilogue. Oh, and then we had, of course, after that, uh, I Am Legion, Shadow of the Hawk, Chaos at the Earth's Core, To Another Shore, Flash and Substance, Dead Reckoning, Patriot Act, The Great Brain Robbery. Oh yeah, that one. That one's fun when when um, Flash and uh, Lex switch switch brain or switch minds on the, each other's bodies. And, uh, you know, Lex is like, is like, oh, finally get to figure out who the Flash is. And he takes out the mask. I have no idea who this is. <laughs> and then vice versa on the other side. Who is it? Somebody asks Lex Luthor, aren't you going to wash your hands? And he says, no, because I'm evil. There's, just, <laughs> there's so many great lines in this series, man. It's awesome. Okay, Grudge Match, Far From Home, Ancient History, Alive, and Destroyer, the epic uh, conclusion with the dark side, full-scale invasion. Oh man, oh man, so epic, so good. Okay, so that's all, yeah, that's all four um, seasons. Or wait, is it five? Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I guess it is five, depending on how you count it, since, unless you separate up uh, JLU. But regardless, uh, 52 episodes of the first section of Justice League, and then uh, JLU had another 39. So, you know, I mean, what else can I really say about this series other than just to sum it up? It's amazing to see all these epic characters together in one series. It's sort of like the... DC version of X-Men TAS, the animated series. Um, you get a really good idea of all these different characters in the DC universe. You get an introduction to them. There's some really epic stuff. I mean, a lot of these storylines are so great in this series and of such high quality that they feel like animated uh, movies, like, like your DC direct animated movie 
or your Marvel direct to animated movies that are released on Blu-ray or DVD for purchase. Um, a lot of these story arcs do feel just as good as those. Some of them may be better. Injustice for All is probably better than a lot of your um, a, a lot of your DC animated movies. Uh, maybe not in terms of like you know the effects and maybe the quality of the art, but just like the episodes themselves. Some of them are really really special. Um, so in terms of a score for Justice League, man, you know, uh, I guess I guess I would give it a nine and a half out of ten. It's damn close to perfect. Now I did give Batman the animated series a ten out of ten, but that's because of what it is. You know, it's just a Batman show. Whereas this, you know, you have all the different characters, these these huge iconic characters, the Flash, you know, Wally West, um, Green Lantern, John Stewart. Um, Superman, of course, Wonder Woman, Hot Girl, um, and Martian Manhunter, and then uh, in Unlimited, you get all the additional characters as well, too, that start getting bigger parts. Um, I mean, that's really all I can all I can say about the series is is it's just it's fantastic. It's, it's super high quality stuff in every sense of the word. The art style is awesome. The uh, the multi episode story arcs are amazing. It's fun. It's inventive. It's creative. It has um, some comedy in some of the episodes. Some humor. Great villains. So many different villains. Oh man, I'm not even going to try to mention because there's so many. You know, from Lex to the Joker special appearances to you know uh, Ultra Humanite and uh, I mean you know there are so many different uh, villains in this series and, and heroes too. It's just, it's one of those, if you like any of those DC characters I mentioned, or you just want to get a feel of what the DCU is all about, go through and watch this, this show. You will not regret it. I guarantee you will not. It is uh, very accessible, lots of fun, really out there with a lot of the um, you know, the different stories and things like that. Like, when I say out there, I mean you get a universal feel because Green Lantern, of course, is, is a universal type character. He's not restricted to just Earth, you know. Um, Superman as well, same type of deal. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's Justice League. It, it's Justice League. It's what we all wish we could see in an actual live action movie, but we never have. So, you know, until then, until that happens and we get to see some really big, epic, um, you know, uh, Justice League movies on the big screen, this and the DC Animated Direct to um, DVD and Blu-ray releases are the best we're going to get. So, uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about Justice League. Hope you guys have been enjoying the throwback reviews of some of my favorite uh, comic book or not comic book, but just, you know, superhero uh, cartoons. Uh, of my childhood and this one definitely is oh man it's 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 one of those it's definitely right up there as as one of the best I there still is not an Avengers show that can rival this show even to this day you know Avengers Assemble has been good Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes was good but none of those really can compare to to how good this show was this show was just spectacular just spectacular Anyway, um, that's pretty much all i got to say about it. If you guys checked out Justice League when you were younger, or if you haven't seen it, if, if you check it out, let me know what you think about it. Um, you know, where do you place it in terms of, like, you know, your Batman, the animated series, Superman, the animated series, Justice League, X-Men, the animated series, the Avengers cartoons, the newer ones, and uh, what you think in terms of, you know, how, how good a quality was this one. I think it was right up there with Batman, the animated series, and uh, it's amazing. It's just amazing. Anyway, I'll call it here. That's it for this video, guys. I'll see you for the next one. This is Trev, and I'm saying peace.